All right, guys, 1968, beans with frankfurter chunks and tomato sauce, B2 unit, meal combat individual, otherwise known to me as a sea rat when I was in boot camp in 1980. So let's get started. All right. Now, first of all, if you recall, there are gonna be cans in this. Gotta show you something here. I mentioned, I, I kept my dog tags from when I was in the Marine Corps. And what we did in the Marine Corps, and I don't know if they designed it this way, but there was a, uh, on your John Wayne, what I called the John Wayne, other guys have called the P-38. I'll talk about that in a minute. There's a little notch or a little hole right there, and we would put it in our dog tags. And that worked out great, unless you're on maneuvers and you're crawling around, and that the little can opener part would go open, and then it would start carving in your chest and or tearing through your shirt, and sometimes you'd realize it was happening and sometimes you wouldn't. So anyway, just don't do that if you're uh, gonna be running around. But anyway, P-38, I've had Army guys tell me, some Marines, but mostly Marines have said they're, they called them John Waynes as well, or P-38s. I did a little research. On the packaging, there's nothing on the packaging that came in these from 1968 that said P-38 or anything like that on a, like a government issued number. Another guy said, that he thought they were 38 millimeters long. So I got the tape measure out, measured it. That's it, they're 38 millimeters long. So I don't know if that's why they called them P-38s, but these little deals here are 3.8 centimeters or 38 millimeters from, from stem to stern. The other thing somebody said is it took 38 go-arounds to open a typical can of uh, sea rations. That may be it, we'll try it today. So let's get started. All right, the box is in fairly good shape, except for <laughs> you see there's, there's been some leakage, which is to be expected. They were kept in cold storage until 1972 and then taken out, unfortunately. Oh, look here, we've got a, uh, uh, this is gonna be another John Wayne. I won't open it because, because I have one, or P-38 to you Army guys. But again, I don't see anywhere, it just says can opener, sterilize before you reuse it. We're gonna leave that in the uh, packaging and uh, save that for another time. All right. All right, here we go. We've got our accessory packet. Oh, look here, cigarettes, matches, chewing gum, toilet paper, instant coffee, cream, sugar, and salt. Cool. What year did they stop putting cigarettes in, in MRE? I think it was 72, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. So this is from 68, that's why the cigarettes. So then we've got our spoon. We've got, oh yeah, like tar. Something's leaked through, it looks like tar on the outside there. But mm. we'll set our spoon down. B2 unit, this one looks, look at that. The seal wow. there is good. A uh, little bit of rust there, but that might not be from the inside out. That might be from other stuff leaking on. So that'll be exciting to see about that. Oh, here's the, uh, the main dish stuck to the uh, cardboard. I'm not holding a lot of hope out for this. Beans with frankfurter chunks and tomato sauce. Frankfurter chunks? Oh yeah, not just frankfurters, but chunks. <sighs> I'm guessing they would take the hot dog and break it up good, but anyway. There's that one. As I recall, the, the, the beans are like a navy bean and they're, they were pretty mealy. Um, if you're hungry enough, it didn't matter. Uh, oh, and here we have a, if I can get it, Fruitcake, uh, check this out. In, okay, so we got cherries, raisins, almonds, pineapple, sugar, flour, eggs. This one looks like it's it's either, again, right there it looks pretty good, but I'm guessing the Frankfurters might have leaked because you can take a look in here and it's not looking so good inside there. So wait, was it the Frankfurters that busted? I think, because see, they're so light. Oh, yeah. Wait, I can okay. smell tomato. I can smell tomato, uh -huh. yeah. So the cake might still be good, maybe? Yeah, that's, I'm, we'll I'm excited. The cake might and the crackers and whatever's in there. But boy, that's a lot of stuff in there. You can see mm -hmm. that. And it's gonna be, uh, oh, now that's hard as a rock. In fact, let's take a look at that. What, that's like, food tape yeah, that's tar, like tar on the inside. Hmm, it smells like metal, which is about normal. Well, of course, we got to start off with our accessory pack. Get that open right away. And see, oh my goodness. What? We got Marlboro cigarettes oh, in wow. this. <laughs> wow. Caution, cigarette smoking may be hazardous to your health. 
19, what, what, what year were those made? 1968. 68, wow. so. We got coffee, that's that's about as hard a coffee as I've come <laughs> across. Freeze dried coffee, instant coffee. Oh, yeah. Yeah, our creamer. We have our sugar. Sugar's feeling a little moisture. Mm. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. moisture in it. Salt, matches, you know what we have to do. There we go. Boy, they made some sturdy matches they for the Marines back then. They certainly huh? did, certainly did. Alrighty. 50 some years later, they all still, they light right up. Toilet paper, like I've mentioned in the past, hand washing, mouth washing, whatever you need toilet paper for. We're gonna need our spoon. That's a nice sturdy spoon. Yeah. And you know, before we go farther here, I am going to blow this off because we might want to tuck into some of this to try a little bit. And I want to make sure that the uh, the tray, I've got tar. You can't get tar and rust on it. Yeah, well, the, and it's got some of that goopy tar-like stuff from the beans. Just get that off of there. We wouldn't want to eat anything unsanitary. No, 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 that's right. It's exactly right. You don't want to do that. Okay, all righty. In fact, we're going to see again. It can be used for everything. Oh, yeah. There we go. All right hot out here again. Mm -hmm. You know, let's start with our B2 unit since this looks like it's in the best shape. Get out our John Wayne here. I'm just going to take this off. There we go. Here we go. You know, I'm going to wipe that off too. Got a lot of rust dust in, in the top. There we go. There we go. Let's see if it takes 38 times to go around. One. one. Okay, I got 34. I got 34 too. All right, I mean, if I went through it. So. If you went through it all the way, it'd be almost, it'd be close yep. to 38. So, Whoa. Got some crackers. Those look good. Let's smell them here a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what do they smell like? Old Play-Doh. <laughs> Keep getting rust. Let's see what's on the bottom though. If you recall, there's a bottom package of some kind of cheddar cheese spread. Mm. So we'll stack our I, crackers. I am amazed at the shape those are in. That is pretty, let's see here. Wow. Yeah, they're a little moist feeling. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it seems like you're gonna have some crunch to them. They might. That is crazy, 50 year old crackers. Now, this isn't good because the the cheese here. Let me get something to wipe that off. Oh, it's puffy. It's very puffy. You don't want a puffy can cheese. Of ought cheese ought not be puffed. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to push on that too hard because it'll it might pop on me. Uh, well, let's open this one up here. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna kind of hold it away in case it goes poof and blows up or something. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. Gosh, it was like that the cheese spread stuff in the can. Oh my. Wow, it like blew it into the air. <laughs> oh boy. Are you going to try to eat some of it? Well, we'll see here. It says it's sterile packaging, so you know, what could possibly be wrong? Oh uh, yeah. Ooh. Mm. Look oh, at that, you can see the mold uh, on the outside there. It mostly looks normal though. I'm actually kind of surprised that it's not like black or something or green. <laughs> Can I smell that if you want? Oh golly. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it's like in my mouth. <laughs> I don't think we'll be having any <laughs> cheese and crackers today. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's just too bad. We should feed it to the cat. See what the cat. The cat won't. <laughs> you know what? If we can see her anywhere, yeah, that's not good. You can tell. I mean, you can see the black uh, mold along the sides here. Mm. Not mm -hmm. good. It is the plain flavored cheddar cheese, though. It's not mm -hmm. smoked or anything. But yeah, it's got. It's like it's. It was in waves and it froze in waves in the can. So yeah. Mm. We'll have to try the crackers. I do have uh, water with me in the old canteen in case 
I got it had some moisture. If you recall from the first sea rat, it was pretty nasty. Wait, I'm curious about something. Could you tear that toilet paper? I want to see how durable it is. Does sure. it just like because it's not it seems like durable toilet paper. Okay, so it's a little yeah. But they didn't make it where it's not quite like toilet paper that you just get at this right. for your home. They right. made it more durable. Yeah. Oh yeah. See, it is more versatile. It's almost a napkin more than yeah, it is yeah, toilet yeah. paper. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what we use it for a lot too. Depend on if you're out in the field or if you're in, in garrison. If you're in garrison, you save the toilet paper for other times. But I, I've got to check the texture of this stuff here. Interesting. It's it's like cheese spread as far as it goes. It, it, it just, it, it smells, <laughs> it almost gives, it's almost a gag reflex. Pretty much is. So we're not going to be eating this. Between the mold and the white and the frozen or, or the semi-solid state, we're going to just leave that right there and uh, we're not going to mess with eating that. We do need to try a cracker, however. Let's see if they are crispy. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Still quite crispy. Yes indeed. So, bon appetit. Whoa. <laughs> no. No. There's something not right there. <laughs> Don't do that at home kids. Oh yuck. That's so crazy because they look normal. Mm. I mean they're not green or... No they don't. They it tastes unnatural. Oh. <laughs> oh man, that's too bad. I might have to employ the gum sooner than later. Mm. Oh, that, yeah, no, no good. No good, Heinze. That, that, um, yeah, that's not good. That's not edible. Oh, yuck. Yeah. Yeah, you know, if you're ever going to do this at home, don't take such a big bite. You know, take it a little easy. All right, we're going to move on to our fruit cake, which has a lot of corrosion on it. I don't know if it's from the outside or the inside. We'll find out here. I'm going to set it here so the junk will get on that part of the uh, tray because we want to leave the main part for our beans and, and franks. Let's see here. Oh boy, oh, this, there's a smell and yeah, there's all I, the that's, way over here. Yeah, right away. Boom. You just, whew, wow. Whoo, dog. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, it's like not cool. I'm saying, I'm thinking at least the raisins aren't any good anymore. <laughs> the cherries might have gone south as well, just based on the smell. Oh man, there we go. Yeah. Ooh, fruitcake. Mm. The fruitcake has seen better days. <laughs> you notice I'm using the back half of this. <laughs> oh my. Okay, you know, we're going to go ahead and take that all the way out. Okay. Well, there's a raisin. Or a cherry, I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's see here. Get around the outside, get it started here. <laughs> Maybe if I stab in the center and kind of at an angle. Oh, no, that didn't work. Let's see. Well, there we go. We'll get it out a little bit at a time here. There we go. Now we got the paper coming out. Mm. Yeah, maybe the, this one did go bad from the inside out as well. Wow. Oh yeah, I can see can. I can see it's just paper thin. You see that right uh, there? It's just coming right apart. Mm. Got to be really careful doing this kind of stuff because you can cut yourself. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Coming out intact. It's like the bottom of a muffin. Yep. See that through the... Through oh, the, uh, you can see right through. Yep. Yep. Mm. That's unfortunate. Look at my fingers. So it was like kind of like a blueberry muffin type thing. Yeah, you know, I think it was like a pound cake with the fruits and cherries and everything in it. So <laughs> at the time they were good. Ew. But uh, this ain't looking so good anymore. Now it's not quite like the pineapple, 
that we opened in the other That's one. almost edible. No. <laughs> no. You're gross. Wow, look at that. Can you at least tell it's a cake. Yes, it you wasn't. can do that. That's true. That's true. I mean, my fingers are pretty, yeah. pretty nasty. Yeah. Let's get those wiped off good because we want to see what the beans and Franks look like. That does not weigh enough. You know what I'm saying? There's, th mm. That's not right. <laughs> you can see the can definitely has some issues right there, here on this side. Yeah, it's eaten through, I'm sure. But uh, let's take a look. Let's see what we can come up with here. Don't want to get any rust in the food. Oh, it didn't hiss at me. I can tell it's coming back to you. The oh, the can. oh, oh. <clears throat> wow. You smell that? Uh-huh. Mm. I had my head right <laughs> <laughs> Oh, golly. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What the? <laughs> I'm just going to sit over here and oh, you can open man. it. Oh, what is that? It's like it's, metal. It's tomato metal. To it's smell. moldy metal hot dog. Okay, let's. The, I think the tomatoes are gone. You know what I'm saying? The tomatoes are gone. Oh, it comes out good though. You can at least tell what it is. It's not like pure black goop. That's weird. Yeah, I'm afraid. So you can see. You know, I can't actually see through it anywhere. It might have been the fruitcake that ate through everything. I'm not sure. Yeah, I think those are perfectly good. I, I think some of the fruitcake just spilled yeah. and made it look like that can busted. I don't think that can was busted though. Let's just kind of get some beans up. Oh, what? Well, I'm not eating it. I'm just... Oh, oh, I, was like, I thought you were going to eat it. I was <laughs> oh, like, I, now I, this is where an intervention comes in. <laughs> like, I got to look out for your health. Oh, that's not good. Mm. Let's smell a, <laughs> a frankfurt. That's a, there's the chunk of Frankfurt. Of, uh, Frankfurter, yeah. <clears throat> I was gonna say, please don't put that in your mouth. Oh golly! Ooh. Wow, Frankfurter Ooh. chunks. Ooh. Oh guys, I'm telling you, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> nothing on this thing is edible except for hopefully the gum. <laughs> Ooh, man, that is just. <laughs> unfortunate, really unfortunate. That smell is almost like, whew. Yeah. So let's let's find our gum. We've got uh, our chiclets gum. That's cool. Spearmint. All right. The gum. We have to have one good thing out of this. Oh, I got to get that smell taste out of my mouth. <laughs> I like to share. There you go, Thank sir. You. Hang on just a minute. Let's. Uh, cheers. Mm -hmm. Bon Appetit. <laughs> it's soft. I can't believe it. It is. And it tastes amazing. It tastes amazing. And and because this stinks so bad, and I want to enjoy the gum. You're going to set that off to the side. Wow. All right. Gum is good. Let's take a look at some Marlboros here. Marlboros, four Class A cigarettes. Again, mm. uh, around 1968. Doesn't have an exact date. Let's see here. Look at that. Still, still right there. Take that top off right there. There we go. We're gonna open up our smokes. That seems to open up just fine. Lays back there like that. It says pull on the aluminum foil. Oops, that's bringing the whole thing out. You can tell I don't smoke a lot. Um, there we go. So the foil jacket came off. It's a little stained, you can see. Let's see what these smokes look like here. Wow, it looks whoops. intact. Look at that, Marlboro. Wow. Smells like a cigarette. Very interesting. Still intact, still in good shape. Looks like all four of them are. None worse for the wear, really. Hmm. I mean, they, they, they made the ride through... 53 years, okay. And they, and they were kept in cold storage, that's interesting. Well, they were kept in cold storage till 72, and then they were taken out. It said uh -huh. it actually was 
was uh, stamped on the box, removed from cold storage in 1972. So, mm. so there you go, Marlboro four Class A smokes. They use these to uh, to trade for food or trade for money or trade for whatever, pass around, share, trade for different smokes. And um, there's a good pack of Marlboros there. So. But remember, cigarette smoking may be hazardous to your health. So we won't be smoking these today. Well, guys, the meal, it smells bad. I mean, it's its nasty. Um, nothing is edible. Even the crackers were like, get them out. The smoke smelled good. The gum was still good. I'm still mm -hmm. chewing on a gum. Mm -hmm. I appreciate you watching this one with me. We've got a few more of these to go. And uh, glad you hung out with me today. Uh, we'll... We'll try some more. We've got other ones coming and uh, just stay tuned. Thanks for watching.